and welcome to the Simple Practice Journal Template. My name is Tasia and I'm the creator of this template and I'm just here to give you a quick walkthrough of this basic dashboard and database template and show you how to use it. So first things first, we have the main dashboard page and the top of the page is for preparing for an effective practice session. So part of that is based on reviewing the five zones of practice, which is a concept introduced by Gerald Clickstein of The Musician's Way. And I do have that source referenced right here. So you can go check out that original blog post or go check out the book, The Musician's Way, highly recommend. And from there, we have this little graphic that I actually created for creating a restorative place. There's this concept called the attention restoration theory. And the basic idea behind that is that your brain just needs a chance to recharge every once in a while. And the best way to do that is to put yourself into a restorative state and allow your brain to refresh and recharge and then go ahead and jump back into your practice session from there. So this is just a quick little a checklist to help you find a restorative place in preparation for your practice. And I do also have a link to that original blog post on my website if you want to check it out. Over on the left hand side here is where you can add today's practice and we'll come back to that in just a moment. But the next section of this template is going to cover some practice strategies. Now these are practice strategies that I frequently use on my own, so I wanted to include them in this template for you. And you are welcome to add more yourself or just work based off of these strategies. And if they were strategies specific to a website source or a book, I went ahead and linked the source here as well. Underneath, we now have a section for your practice calendar. And all this is doing is taking your practice log and taking the dates of those and putting it into a calendar view. On this view, I went ahead and set the properties to show the name of the name of the entry and then also the effectiveness, which when we go into creating an entry and applying the template, you'll see what I'm talking about there. Down here, we have your practice review section. And this is where you can see at a glance some more comprehensive information about your different practice sessions and the information that you are tracking. Under here, you can see that you can switch views using the toggle next to the name. And that's this little toggle button right here. You can just switch to different views for what you're wanting to take a closer look at for your practice review. And as we scroll down here at the bottom, I just have a little link to the free downloads for the icons that I used in this template. And then also this little section called the data basement. And this is where your source database is going to live. Now, with that source database, this view here under your simple or under your practice review, your practice calendar, and then this little section up here to add today's practice, these are all just different views of the same database. And that's where Notion is really cool. You can take a single database and track all of your information, but then see it in as many different ways as you can possibly think of. So from here, if you want to create a new practice entry, you're gonna go ahead, click that new button, and it's gonna open up a new database page. Now it's automatically going to add today's date, but let's say we want to go ahead and set a time for that. We wanna do an end date and time, and that's gonna give us the time that we're starting and the time that we're ending. So let's say we are practicing from one o'clock p.m. until two o'clock p.m. Now, when we click out of that, you'll see under here, the total time automatically updates to show that that is an hour long practice session. And from here, we can, first thing what I like to do is come down here and apply the template. And that's the new practice journal entry. If you click on that, it's going to automatically pre-fill all of your important data for you. So you'll see under here, you have a centering routine to start your practice and then within your practice, you can take notes about your technique and warm up, your solo music, your ensemble music, and then any musicianship or skill development that you do during your practice. 
And down here I have a link to a video to help you with those short art breaks or attention restoration theory breaks. Now to fill out the database information for your journal log, we want to go ahead and give it a title. Typically I just do the date and some information. Um, oh, should add the year to that. And example for location, this is where you can select where you are practicing. So I'm going to say home. And with these, if there is an option here that doesn't exist, you can go ahead and add it. Let's say, oops, we want to add outside as one of them. And when you add new entries, it's going to automatically assign colors. I like having everything grayscale, so I just go in and change the color manually. From here, we haven't actually practiced yet, so I don't know how effective my practice is. Um, I do know, let's say I want to come in here and we're going to practice Virginia Tate, which is a marimba solo. I am a classically trained percussionist, so most of these examples are coming from that background. Uh, under instrument, again, you can select one of these options or you can create a new one. And this is where you can just select which instrument or instruments you are playing during this practice session. And from there, all of those practice strategies we have listed on the other page in that table view. I just have all of those listed here as well in order for me to select which practice strategies I am utilizing in this practice session. So let's say I'm going to do a mock performance and I want to do some whole part whole with the practice before I do anything. Um, now we can click into our goals and enter our goals. Uh, let's say one of my goals is going to be a full run through of Virginia Tate. Yep, that should be a V. Um, scales and arpeggios. And these are just examples. You can set your goals whatever you want them to be. And from there, we're ready to go ahead and start our practice session. Now, through our, our practice session is where we can come in here, go ahead and start with a centering routine, take notes on our warm up, take any notes related to our solo music. And at the end of our practice session, we can come back in here, do a quick summary of your practice. Um, oops, I have that set to bold, but I want to actually unbold it so it stands out or it doesn't stand out as much on my review. And let's say I actually had a really great practice, so I'm going to give myself five stars. Now we have our practice entry completed. And you'll see here this three more properties toggle. This is just some additional information. It will automatically calculate the day of the week for your practice session for you. And if you have any specific files or a website link that you want to add to this entry, you can. Um, like if there's a YouTube video of a performance of this piece that you wanted to reference on this practice specifically, you can add that in. If you make any video or audio recordings, you can upload those as files to this practice page and just add any additional information there. And if those are fields that you don't want to use, you can always go in and if you right click on it, you have the option to delete the property. So anything that you're not going to use in here, you can delete. Same thing with like the repertoire or instrument lists. You can delete these options and add your own. The easiest way to do that is to highlight and click on the three dots to the right. Then go ahead and just click delete and that'll remove them, the options from your version of your practice journal and you can add your own. And now once we have that completed, you'll see we have two entries for today. And that's because we practiced twice today, two different times. And when you scroll down, you'll see on your practice calendar, now we have two entries here. 
and oops, looks like I actually created two for one o'clock. Apparently that's a popular time for me to want to practice. And down here on our simple practice log, you'll see that I can review my practice sessions by location, by the day of the week, and by effectiveness. And this is where you can get more advanced with these different views by setting up filters yourself and grouping by different views, updating your properties. So many different ways that you can customize here, but I wanted to at least get you started with some basic views. Now let's say I want to take a look at my practice review by effectiveness. This is where I can come in and look Say, okay, on my five star days, most of those looks like it's Wednesday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Monday. So the first part of the week is probably the best part of the week for me to practice and stay focused. Four stars, we have a Monday, a Friday, a Wednesday. Again, two out of the three is the early part of the week. So that's where I can go in and kind of take a look at my practice habits and see which days of the week are most effective for me to practice. And if you tend to be more effective earlier in the week, then maybe the early parts of the week is when you focus more on learning new music and adding in performance cues and really practicing performing the bigger pieces of music that you are working on. And then maybe spend the later part of the week focused more on like maintaining memory or working on technique exercises or methods or some sight reading anything that isn't necessarily going to require as much of your focused attention. But those are just a couple of different ways that you can use this template to gain some insights into your music practice and figure out the most efficient way for you to keep practicing in the future. And if you get to using this template and you fall in love with it, but want to take it to the next level, you can always check out the music journey template. And that's going to be a little bit more advanced with relational databases. And you'll be able to track your repertoire library. Uh, you can track specific techniques and methods that you're studying, uh, composers that you're studying, just a lot of different other options there. But I wanted to also offer a free version of this practice journal so that anyone can use it and try it out. All right, I hope you enjoy. And if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information will be included on the download page. Thank you.